Radio Luxembourg. Good evening, everybody. This is Radio Luxembourg calling. And our program this evening begins with a concert radiated to you by the courtesy of Scrimplethorpe's Telt Powder. The powder that tells for itself. Ladies, aren't you asking too much of your husbands when you expect them to kiss you goodbye first thing in the morning with a face looking like the back of a cab? Try a box of our famous four-way powder. Called four ways, it can be used as face powder, gun powder, flea powder, or sedlitz. Get a box today from any reputable off-license. Now, we have with us in the studio tonight as our guest artist, that very delightful crooner, Miss Elsie Newcastle. I'm sure she needs no introduction from me. You know her so very, very well, of course. And Miss uh, Elsie Newcastle has kindly consented to croon to you. <laughs> That concludes the concert presented to you by Scrimplethorpe's Talc Powder. <coughs> Gentlemen, that wart on the back of your neck that you used to fasten your collar to, do you realize that you're driving thousands of collar stud makers on the dole? Three applications of the famous Jambok ointment, I'll spell that, J-A-M-B-O-X, and your wart will completely disappear, and what a relief. <laughs> Send a postcard enclosing Bank of England notes for two and sixpence to Jam Bock Limited, 192 Waterloo Road, for free generous sample. And a great free gift offer, a solid bone collar stud to take the place of the wart that you have lost. Now, we are fortunate tonight to have in the studio with us our two very dear old friends, Elsie and Doris Waters, who will entertain you with one of their inimitable Cockney impressions entitled Wart About It. <laughs> Ladies, now when you go out each day, do you ever think of the slender threads on which your reputation hangs? Any day you might come home a broken and humiliated woman. Schnotzelheimer's British Springless Suspenders will make that impossible. I'll just spell that word. S-C-H... S... S... No, I don't think I'll spell that. A Schnotzelheimer suspenders will support anything from a Chelsea football club to a poor relation. The only hold-up recognized by the police. Buy your suspenders from the firm that have been in the hold-up business since the days of Dick Turpin. No more embarrassing pops when bending down. Never nip the knee. Wear a pair today and let all your friends see them. Look for the trademark, the head of Peeping Tom on every clasp. Now, we have in the studio with us tonight that well-known wireless pianist, Mr. Billy Mayle, and he's going to play to you on his well-known wireless piano. That was Mr. Billy Mayle playing to you on his well-known wireless piano, and that concludes the program sent to you by Schnotzelheimer's Old British Suspenders. Now, we're delighted to have with us in the studio tonight, as you possibly heard, the Arsenal football ground. And talking of football, that brings us to the concert sent to you with the compliments of Skittlegood's football pools. Now, before we start the concert, I'd like to read you out the results of yesterday's pools. Pool number one, £17,865.7 and 11 pence for sixpence. Pool number two, tuppence halfpenny for sixpence. Pool number three, nine pence for fourpence. Now, don't forget Skittle Goods will be on the air again next Sunday. And we are delighted to have with us this afternoon your great recording favourite, Mr. Stanley Holloway, who I'm sure needs no introduction from me, Mr. Stanley Holloway. You suffer from insomnia or sleeplessness is it, is it at nights. Counting sheep is both old-fashioned and ineffective. Take a tumbler full of Johnny Snorker's Scotch whiskey instead. We do not guarantee that it will send you to sleep, but it will at any rate make it worthwhile keeping awake. Now remember, it must be Johnny Snorker's. Send a registered telegram enclosing stamps for £8.10 for large sample case containing 12 bottles. Sufficient for one person for two nights or viva voce. Now, we're exceedingly fortunate to have with us tonight in the studio the orchestra of the Berlin State Opera. 
under the direction of Herr Schnitzen Eisenhofer. They will play to you the first movement of Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. Have you an elderly relative from whom you have pleasurable expectations? Why wait for years when the money will be useful to you now? Try a tin of polish them off. The only reliable exterminator for rats, for relations, and all other vermin. Send half a crown for free liberal trial sample, or two and sixpence for large size sufficient for six people. To be had of all music dealers. Now, we have with us tonight in the studio those two priceless, silly-ass comedians, Clapham and Dwyer. And they're going to give you another one of their those famous spots of bother. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the popular film fans hour. Now, we have a slight apology to make tonight because the records of excerpts from the latest films have been delayed in transit and they've not reached us in time for broadcasting. So in order to keep up the atmosphere of the film fans hour, I propose to tell you one or two Mae West stories. Now, Mae West was cycling along Piccadilly and as she got along... Oh, that's a very good one. And the other one is Mae West when she got off the boat at Southampton. And as she entered the train... That's a better one still. Well, now that concludes the film fans hour, ladies and gentlemen. And it also brings us to the end of our broadcasting for today. So I have nothing more to add now except to say to you, good night, everybody. Good night. Oh, and just one moment, please. Uh, 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 Good night, everybody. Good night.